Now here we are back with our contactor again and I'm going to try to give some sort of explanation as to why we draw more power when the uh, contactor does not pull in. Remember before, and I'll reference back to the video, that I blocked the contactor from pulling in and it drew excessive power. Of course, that'll burn the coil up on the, on the contactor if it doesn't pull in. But why does it do that? Okay, right here I've got a contactor. I'm drawing 0.28 amps at 24 volts, and it is pulled in. Now let's take this thing apart and see what happens as we take it apart. Okay, I've taken the top off of it, and I've got half of the core right there removed from the uh, from the coil. And let's see what happens when we turn this on. Okay, now you can see we're drawing uh, 1.75 or so amps, where we were only drawing 0.28 before. So it's because this has been taken off. Now let's take this apart a little bit farther. Okay, with the coil taken completely out, we end up with uh, 1.5, we were, you know, 1.75, 1.6, something like that before. I'm not sure why it's, it's changed here. But uh, if I put this in like that, okay, you can see it went down when I actually put part of the core in there. Already getting a smell out of this thing because it's about ready to burn up. So let's look a little farther again. Take this here. And you can see the amp draw goes up. And it drops some when I put it in there. And it's dropped a little bit more when I put it back in the rest of the cradle. So uh, this thing has got to be having an effect on it, doesn't it? So what's happening here? is this core is actually concentrating the magnetic field that's around these wires. Anytime you run power through a wire, there is a magnetic field around the wire. If you want to see an extreme source of that, note some place where you've been working on equipment and you have a dead short and the wires are going through steel conduit and you turn on the breaker and it immediately kicks the breaker off but you can also hear the wire slap the side of the conduit and it'll make a fairly loud noise what it's doing there is the magnetic field around the wire has gotten strong enough because of the excessive draw that it has attracted it to the steel conduit this is the same same thing, any wire, you know, in this case it's a wire that's wrapped around like that, is going to have a magnetic field. This concentrates it. You know, when I put it on there like that, it didn't drop the amp draw to normal, but it dropped it some. And if this half here had been mounted right over it, then it would have uh, dropped off. And to demonstrate that, I'm going to plug this thing in again. You see we're drawing by 1.4. When I put this over it, now it goes down to normal draw. That iron core, when it covers completely around it, concentrates that field. And when it concentrates that field, it builds up back EMF. That's where this is coming from. It's all back EMF. Back EMF is pushing backwards. It's power that's created by the power, so to speak. If I... Now let's take this apart again. If I have electricity passing through here, and of course it's... Uh, 
energizing a field around it concentrated here by the the iron core because that's a magnetic type material then that magnetic field will build evenly and the back EMF will work better. I'll give you a demonstration of this uh, kind of with kind of simple sort of thing and maybe it'll help. Okay to make it a, an attempt at understanding how that concentration works you can see this coil you know the wires are wrapped around it they're not all that even or anything and they've all got their little magnetic field around each wire but it's kind of haphazard and I'm trying to represent that with this pile of screws these are the magnetic fields some are close some are far apart some of them cancel each other out so there isn't a lot of magnetic field of course that magnetic field is going to give you that back EMF a concentrated magnetic field so let's take a look at this after we put the core in. Okay, now I've lined these screws up. And so each one of the magnetic fields around the wire is concentrated. And it makes a more effective field, a more concentrated field, as that uh, core would do that's really all it is it's uh, you know that's kind of a simple analogy it's maybe not terribly accurate but if I take this coil and I you know there is back EMF in this coil but it's not very much back EMF because it hasn't concentrated those fields that uh, the core does concentrate concentrate the fields and then the back EMF builds up larger than it was before. Now power factor is part of this thing. I don't want to get into power factor right now. It's really not for this particular uh, incident. But when you have a, a contactor that hangs up like that, then it's going to burn up that coil. And it's because we have not been able to concentrate the magnetic field that is created when this coil is energized. I did another video on this that might help a little bit too. I did it back in 2012. Uh, I didn't really think I'd got everything in that video. You can look at it and see if it makes it any more clear. But this is, this is what's happening, is that concentration of the magnetic field to produce more back EMF. Hope this is understandable. Got lots of really good comments on this. A lot of you guys know this very well. Uh, those that don't, hope you learn something.